What's up guys, it's Kaisuke Place here and with a tutorial, well, tutorial series of skinning. So we're going to first start to get the template of the car you want to skin. So to this part we will need three different things. First, the car of your choice. In this case I will use the Project D PNR32. So you simply just find the mass file here. As you can see here, and we're going to use the Gmodder 2.0 Mass Utility, as I got here, and then a modeling program of your choice. I'm using the Zmoller 2.2.1 because I'm used to that one. So let's simply start. So you open the Gmodder Mass Utility, you open the mass file, well, uh, game data, vehicles, project D, come on. And uh, now you simply go down here and you find the mass file. There you go. Then you open it. Then you got all of the files here. Then if you want, you can just simply select every file and extract it or just select the files you need, aka the body parts. But I guess it will be easier to just take everything out. So you just click CTR Control plus A or just simply drag the whole thing down and go to edit and extract. Then you get to this one, click on desktop and you create a new folder or if you have already one done, we're just gonna create one now. So BNR32 template. There we go, then you press OK. Then you wait for a minute to, for it to extract everything and there you got operation complete. So now you're going to open the Z the well the modeling program in my case Z modeler. You got this and now you're simply going to import the stock body files or even if you want already the body kit you want to skin but i think it will be easier to just get the stock body kit so now you just open here and then you got this so now you'll simply just find the body of it so uh here we got the body work um uh, what we got more the disc no the bun the bonnet the boot, the bumper, the rear bumper, and yeah, the wing, also the spoiler if it has one. That would be also quite helpful. Uh, wait a second. Alright, so we got this. Uh, now, we also need to... Um, Other rules spoiler you could also use it. That would be quite helpful too. And there you go. So now you just import the car. But you got this. Oh, wow, that's quite light. That's that's normal. Don't worry, that's normal it's because of this. Yeah, there you go. That's easier for you to, to see the whole car. So now you got this, but if you want, as told you can use the body kit. So let's simply just find the body kit here. It's the origin front bumper and the side skirt and the rear bumper. Import it and there you go. That's quite easier for you, for me too, to get the, the paint job. So, oh, oh, that's not the correct wing as a look of it. Uh, a, B, ah, there we go. No, not the shadow. Um, there it goes, our wing stock, there we go. So, now what you s just simply do, you go to any viewport you want, you go and select all, then click the selected mode, so it stays red, then you go to the surface, mapping, edit, UV, then you get this, screen and then you just uncheck disable old mapping and you keep these two on and of course this one so now you just simply do okay then you go to the next viewport aka uv mapper you go to the material and you choose wc car body then you got this there you go so what you can also do to easy up your process is select everything. Just scale it the max possible so you can have the best view of it. 
or from it will be this. So as you can see there, uh, here's for the spoiler, the rear bumper, and so on. So you got pretty much everything here. So what you now will simply do is print screen, just press the button, and use any um, photo editing program for, well, the best would be Photoshop, as probably most people use. So now, just get away from this open, and just create a new, and bam, there you go, then just put the, that there. Now what you would simply do is just get the picture out. Oh, it's freezing. I don't know why. Hello. Uh, so now you can actually close that while if you want. Okay, there we go. So what you can now use is simply do this for you to select. Oh, well, I forgot to. What the hell is going on? Oh, well, it was a tolerance. <laughs> Alright, then you got the whole square here, we can say. Then you just simply select everything here. Yeah? Two. Bam. Bam. Whoop, 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 whoop. So you have the whole template selected. Just give me a small minute. So when you're sure you have everything selected, you just copy it or you even cut it. And you go again to a new file. Okay. I should do this. Oh wow. I don't know what happened there. Oh well, give me a second. Nope. I don't know what the hell happened there to be honest. This sometimes happens to me, I don't know why, but well. So what you just simply do, I guess put this to 20. And just be sure to have the whole image on this. Apply. And then you just fill this whole thing again there was another line down here also going to fill that out there you go and now this next step is quite something useful you just go to image size and you put 2048 by 2048 and now another important thing is this click the nearest neighbor preserve hard edges and the important thing to do that is because of this so that these lines stay actual lines and doesn't get smoothed we can say because let me see let me show you what would happen if you use the smooth gradients as you can see it doesn't get that hard edge so it's harder for you to skin it so yeah let's do it again and just preserve hard edges. There you go. And now to just completely finish, you're just going to delete the background. Another thing now you're going to do is to select color range. Click on this and be sure to have it like this. You want you can have 100 or even 50. So you get the whole everything which is the gray color gets selected and just simply press delete. Bam, there you go. You got here a complete template for you to use. As you can see, here's the, the bumpers. There you go. So now you, you would just simply save. As Photoshop pro would be the most helpful if you want to use it again to skin Photoshop and then just PNR32 or just PD2. PNR 32 template. And then you save it. Maximize compatibility, and there you go. 
that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial we will start about the process of the skinning itself. We we'll just give you a few tips and so on. And then yeah, then we will go to the to the step to convert your skin into the the air factor skin. So hope you enjoyed hope this well helped you of course and you enjoyed this video. This was Mikai Suki. See you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.